How to create an Amazon affiliate website in Google Sites. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and I'll be showing you how to create an Amazon affiliate website for free using Google Sites. The first thing you will need to do is sign up to the Amazon affiliate program. And to do that, all you'll need to do is go into your browser, whether that is Google or Yahoo or Bing, and you are going to type in Amazon affiliate program. Once you have done that, I want you to tap right where you see Amazon.com Associates Central and you are going to be led to their sign up page. And you will simply enter your login information if you already have an Amazon account. For example, if you shop on Amazon, you can use that account to sign up. It is quite straightforward. Once you have finished signing up, this will be the dashboard that you will see. And also, I'll give you a quick look at their commission rates as you can see right here. So for example, if you were to promote Amazon Fire tablets or any Amazon product, you can see that you'll get 4% commission. And also by promoting furniture or home improvement tools or lawn and garden, you'll get a fixed rate of 3%. But while Amazon commission is not high, the reason why their affiliate program is so popular is, one, Amazon is a trusted brand. So if you are promoting an Amazon product, persons are more likely to trust it and click on the link and follow through and make a purchase. Two, with Amazon, their cookie lasts for up to 30 days. Meaning that if you are promoting an Amazon product and someone should tap on your link, once they have tapped on your link, they have up to 30 days to make a purchase. Three, they don't have to purchase the product that you are recommending. So for example, if I'm recommending a projector and someone goes onto my website, sees a projector that they like, taps on the link, but when they go onto Amazon, instead of purchasing a projector, they change their mind and say, okay, I want to purchase a television or a blender or so on. I will still get a commission for each product that they purchase. So that is the beauty about Amazon. Those are some of the things why Amazon Associates program is so popular. Once you have signed up, you will also realize that your navigation bar at the top right here when you are browsing Amazon is different. As you can see right here, you'll see the option get link. So if I were to tap on this, I would get my affiliate link for this product. And you'll see this whenever you're browsing Amazon from now on. Now to start creating your website. To create a Google Sites website, all you need to do is go onto Google Sites. Once on Google Sites, you are going to tap on blank. After you have tapped on blank, you will be led to this page. And let's say, for example, I'm creating an Amazon affiliate website about projectors. So I could type in the five best projectors under $500. So five best projectors under $500 will be my title. So let's do that real quick. After you have typed it in, you can change the font style or size if you want. So if you would like it to be a bit smaller, right where you see 64 on my screen, you can tap right there. And if you would like to change it to, for example, 48, you can do that. And also, if you would like to change the font style, you can do that by tapping right there. So let's say I want to change the font style to impact. I could do that. And you can also add your site name right here. So I'll name this site test and you could also add a logo. After you have done that, you are going to go over to the right hand menu option. And from here, you are going to tap right where you see text box as we are going to be adding our first text. And to create the text normally to get information to create an Amazon affiliate website, we would normally have to go onto Amazon and do hours of research by reading the description and also the reviews that other persons have written down at the bottom about the particular product. But with the advancement of AI, we don't need to do that anymore. All you'll need to do is go on to op chatopenai.com and from here you'll sign up quickly using your email address and again it's completely free. So I went on to ChatGPT and I typed in write an article describing the top 5 projectors under $500 and this is the article that it, that it wrote right here. 
And this is the article that ChatGPT wrote. So all I'll need to do now is simply copy and paste this article. So let me do that real quick. All I need to do is copy it. So let me copy it right here. And I'm going to go back into Google Sites. Then I'm going to paste it right here. So I'll simply tap on paste. And you can see it right there. So now I have content for my website as you can see right there. And now to add your affiliate link is quite easy. But before doing that, you'll need to do some minor editing. So for example, you'll remove the title right there. And you're going to highlight the title. And you're going to tap right where you see normal text. And you're going to put heading. After you have put heading, you're going to remove the introduction section. Then each product name, you will simply highlight each product name. And you are going to see normal text. You are going to tap on that. And you are going to put each product name as a subheading. And also to add your affiliate link, all you will need to do is go back into Amazon. And you would search for the product. Then you are going to tap on get link in the top left hand corner. Right where you see text. And you would simply copy this link. Then you'll go back into Google Sites. And you're going to tap on the link icon right here. Then you'll simply paste the link. Then you'll tap on apply. So if someone were to tap on this link right now, they would be redirected to Amazon. And if they were to make a purchase, I would get a commission. And also, if you would like to add an image, you can do that also. All you'll need to do is go over to the right hand menu option. And from there, you will see the image option. And you could add an image right here. And also to get the image is quite easy. All you need to do is go onto Amazon. Once on Amazon and on the product page that you want to recommend, you can simply tap on the product from the left hand menu option right here. Once you have tapped on the product, all you'll need to do to save the image is simply right click. Then you'll tap on save image. And now that you have saved the image, you can add it to your website. And also, if you would like to add video, as the beautiful thing about Amazon and their products is majority of their products, they also have a video from the creator of the product. What I would recommend you do is you are going to add this plugin. The plugin's name is Video Downloader Professional. So you are going to type that into Google and then you are going to see the option to install the plugin and you'll simply add it or better the extension. So once you're on any website, and for this example, Amazon, and the website has a video, all you'll need to do is tap right where you see the green arrow. You are going to tap on that. Then from there, you can play the video. So you'll tap right where you see MP4. You could tap on play. And then once you have found a video that you like, so let me find the video real quick from the creator of this product. So not those videos. So let me tap on this one. And you can see right there. So all I'll do is tap on the three dots. After tapping on the three dots, I could download the video. Then I could add it to my Google site. Once you have added the video and the photo to your Google sites, the next thing to do is you can create more pages. And to create more pages, all you have to do is tap right where you see pages in the top right hand corner. Then tap on the plus and from there you can type in the page name. Then you'll tap on done and you'll be redirected to a new page. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do now is tap on publish. And this is completely free. So after you have done that, you can type in the name that you would like your website to have. So I could name this one projectors. So let me see if that is available. No, it is not. So I'll type in best projectors and see if that is available. And you can see how it looks right there. No. Let me see. Best projectors. It is not allowing me. So let me type it in again. Best projectors. You can see it right there. And once it's available, you'll see a blue thick and you'll simply tap on publish and that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.